Alright, it's the CPU kit. I'm going to show you how to customize a 3.03 OEC PSP. Alright, show you my firmware. Alright, the first thing you have to do download a program called Flash Agent. And then run it on the PSP. Alright, now you get two options relink dummy files or go to the menu, hit X over relink dummy files. Alright, now hit I agree. Now you're done, so we'll just hit home and quit. And that freed up space on your flash hero that you're gonna need. Alright, so now you're back at the menu. Turn your PSP all the way off. And boot in recovery mode by holding R on startup. Alright, now go to advanced. Toggle USB flash zero. And I'll plug my USB cable in. Alright, now it's side on the computer. Alright, so now I'm at the root, you'll, you'll see those folders. Alright, I'll just put that aside for a minute. Right now, I'm gonna, you can select whichever thing you want, but I'll be using one called Black32. So you have to have WinRAR installed. Just Google it, you'll find it. And then, I'll say extract to here. And now you're gonna get all these files. Don't worry, it's really easy. Alright, so the easiest thing to do first is to copy over the font. So you're going to do that by coming over here, opening up the font folder, and coming over here, and just drag and drop. And I said you want to overwrite, copy and replace. So you can overwrite everything. Now what you're done here, go back, and go to VSH resource. Here's where you're going to copy everything else. I'm just going to do one file at a time because it's more, I think it's more stable for it if you do it that way. Alright, copy and replace. Copy and replace. Alright, you already did the, f the font folder, so you don't need that. Open your plugin. System plugin and the last one, top menu. And those are the icons, the top menu plugin. Alright, next I'm gonna add a game boot and a boot sound. And all these go to PSPmodified.com or just Google it and you'll find the whole boot pack. Made by PSP Nikos and a few others, so props to him. I'm going to open up the game boot folder. I like the game boot slash and game boot.pmf. Just copy it over. Copy and replace. Now, I'm going to get a boot sound. I like parental discretion. Where is it? There it is. Open plugin, drag and drop. Alright, that's pretty much it. So now what you want to do is go back to your PSP and hit back. I'm going to disable the skip logo so you can hear what the boot sound sounds like. And exit.
discretion is advised. Alright, you'll probably get a white background, don't worry. All you have to do is go down to theme settings. And click on theme, and then go all the way up to the January theme. And it'll appear, and just click X. And there you go, you got custom sounds, icons, background, wave, battery meter, volume meter, everything. So here we'll start up a homebrew game and you'll see the game boot. Pretty cool. And that's about it. It's not hard at all. And you can download more things that'll change your firmware version and you can get different fonts and different icons and but I really like this one. So CPU out.